Busted windows, dented cars, it's happening more and more in Imperial Beach. The people there, obviously not happy. 10 News reporter Gracia Aguilar talked to people on Elder Street who say at least 10 cars were hit there in one night. Well, this is what's left of one woman's car window. Shattered glass pieces spread across the ground. Neighbors say they don't know what's going on in their community, but these attacks are getting out of control and they need to stop. Leanne Grice is running late for work. Clean up the mess. She was getting ready to leave her house on Elder Street when I just came out to my window being broke. Her Prius missing the driver's side window. Drive your car with the window down and put on the heater. Glass covering the seat of her car. Mm -hmm. Grice says she called the sheriff's department to file a report. This is real unusual, I think. But she's not the only one falling victim to the attacks. Twice. Yeah, they tried. Oh, dude. Neighbors across the street also waking up to damaged vehicles. There it is. I mean, it didn't really shatter my whole car, my whole window. Bonsa says smashed windows, property theft, getting hit with BB guns. It's becoming all too frequent. It happened in this street, it happened in that street, so it's been going on for a while already. Over the past three weeks, the sheriff's department says they've gotten up to six reports of vehicles vandalized with BB or pellet guns. This week, three thefts from vehicles, two cars, and a house window also shot at. I have kids. I mean, they're not playing outside that late, but it could have gone through one of our windows at the house and hit one of us. Neighbors now saying they'll band together, hoping to catch the culprits. I have no idea who it is. I just hope the cops catch them. That's it. Yeah, Reporting from Imperial Beach, Teresa <laughs> Aguilar, 10 News. The Sheriff's Department says they're still patrolling the city, working to find and arrest the criminals.